peace everyone i am dr ashley evans and i am back again um just to kind of share some reflections that i've been getting um today i was reading genesis 32 and um it really stuck out to me about jacob and this is a time where um jacob has gone through quite a few things he spent 20 years kind of being bamboozled by his father-in-law slash uncle um laban who um had manipulated him, deceived him, and finally he resolved that. But um, as I was reading, I came upon um, Genesis 32, verse 28, where it says, Your name will no longer be Jacob, he said. It will be Israel, because you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. And I really felt like that's what God is doing for a lot of us. A lot of us um, in 2020, even rolling over into 2021, um, had a lot of battles going on. And I feel like those who truly committed to submitting and surrendering their identity to Christ truly are going to see the fruit of that commitment. And I was just reminded of identity. Like for instance, when he changed his name from Jacob to Israel, it was such a pivotal moment because Jacob means trickster. And so um, changing his name to Israel, um, which basically means um, God contends or God fights for or um, triumphant with God. It means those things. And this was a moment where he wrestled with God. And it meant so much because, you know, so many people don't understand that your identity, when you come to Christ, you are transformed. You're, you become a new creation. And it reminded me of 2 Corinthians 5, 17, where it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ that is grafted in, joined to him by faith in him as a savior, he is a new creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, the previous moral and spiritual condition have passed away. Behold, new things have come because spiritual awakening brings new life. And I really feel like that's what happened to Jacob in that moment. And it was interesting that this situation, this wrestling with God took place after he had asked for forgiveness from Esau. And he had settled his issue with Laban. And it was almost as if like it was a purging. And it was as if like God was like, you know, you're ready. You know, you're prepared. You, you've been faithful. You've trusted me. Um, and you've repented. And so in that capacity, by him doing those things, you know, God honored him and was like, look, you can no longer walk as Jacob. Now I need you to walk with me and let me fight for you. Let me fight your battles and let me um, walk with you in victory. And he changed his name to Israel. And so I really feel like there is a sh that that same shifting of identity is taking place among so many individuals who have um, been fighting and they've been wrestling with themselves, with men, with God, and you know it really comes down to a point of surrendering and understanding that the root of who we were created to be is to be followers of Christ. He created us in His image. He desires for us to walk in who he is and not to get caught up in you know our joy our jobs and you know money and people and all these other external things that have nothing to do with who we are and i feel like the biggest disservice this world and society has done for people is caused them to think that because of what they have what they do and because they do it well, that's who they are. You know, it's like you may be a teacher, but that's not your identity. You know, you're that that's something you do, but that's not your identity. You are a child of God. And so understanding his identity helps you understand your own identity. And when you come to that knowledge, there's a transformation that takes place. And one thing I really appreciate about God is that he was very intentional about names. For instance, when he changed the name of um, Abraham 
So before it was Abram, and then he changed it to Abraham. And then for Sarah, her name was Sarai, and then he changed it to Sarah. And he did it in the moment where he made where he made a covenant with them. And he was like, this is what it's going to be going forward. And then he changed their name because their identity had changed. They had no longer, they could no longer live connected to the old ways that they had come from. And it also brought back the awareness to the fact that, you know, Abraham came from a, a lineage that served other gods. So he was somebody that the Holy Spirit, that God, that God took in and made his own and said, hey, you're, you're with me. I'm blessing you. You're my blessed child. And so in order to do that, I need you to identify yourself with me. And in the same capacity, Jacob, that was the old him. You know, he was raised up. Yes, he had his father Isaac, who was loyal to God. But his mother, she had a pagan God mentality. And so therefore, he needed to have his own encounter with God, which he did. And in this moment, that is how he came to become Israel. And I just think it's really um, prevalent and relevant to right now because we have to understand that God is doing the same thing. And the way Jacob maneuvered through life is very similar to us because we come into this world not having an understanding and so many things happening. You know, we can have the knowledge of God, but he hasn't been he hasn't been engraved in our hearts and i feel like the things that jacob experienced allow him to truly see god as the father god as the protector god who would never leave him nor forsake him to the point where he had surrendered and submitted to god and so i just want to encourage you to um if you've been struggling if you've been having a hard time believing in god and really embracing who he is i just want you to take some time and just read Genesis 32 and look at Jacob and look at that transformative moment he experienced um, and understand that by him surrendering, submitting to God, repenting of his sins and humbling himself, he allowed himself to get to a place where God is like, you're ready. You're ready to come into the kingdom. You're ready to be transformed. You're ready to walk out the promises I have for you. And so I just want to encourage you because in the same capacity, God desires to walk with you. He desires to fight the battles for you. And he wants you to, to walk in his identity because we are a new creation in him. So don't be discouraged. Things that have happened in the past, really submit them and surrender them to God. And understand that he loves you and despite people who have done you wrong and who have not apologized understand that God is faithful and that he will handle that he is our vindicator but as far as your role your role is to release that to our Heavenly Father and of course yes if it's something very extreme and you need the healing process he will guide you through that as well but his first priority is understanding that you have a heart that is submitted to him. And you have a heart that desires to walk in the identity that he has given you. All right. So just have a blessed day. And just remember your identity is in Christ. All right. Bye, you guys. Bye.